so much of our training gets drilled into us through years and years in the military. One of those things is your post ejection checklist. Canopy, visor, mask, seat kit, LPU, four line jettison, steer to land. We practice this so many times, it just becomes like second nature. Canopy, you literally check your canopy of your parachute to see if it's good. Visor, Doop. mask, get rid of that thing, you don't need it anymore. Seat kit, underneath you, you release it so it dangles from the lanyard down below you. So when you land, you have your equipment with you. LPU, that's only if you're flying over water, but you would inflate it if you're gonna land in the water. Four line jettison, that is the type of canopy, type of parachute that we fly with. And if you just leave a round military style parachute like that, you're gonna swing underneath it because the air needs to get out from underneath the canopy as you float down. So in order to prevent that, you actually break four of the lines. Right behind you on that canopy, you open up a panel to allow air out, which also makes you start going in a direction. So you can steer a little bit and then you wanna to prepare to land. You get into your PLF, parachute landing fall position. Feet and knees together, get ready for your five points of contact. You do not try to stick the landing on those things. You literally roll with it as you land, planning on it being a fairly aggressive landing. So that's one of those things you've asked, how do you remember all this stuff? So much of it gets drilled into your memory that you literally couldn't forget it if you want to. And who knows, maybe I'll need it again someday. Like and follow for more.